Well, I just walked in the house about a minute ago, 60 seconds ago, and I've got this already going. Freedom versus liberty. People need to have a good concept of liberty to understand anything that I talk about or anything in the realm of politics or economics. Um, liberty, let's start with this. Coercion. Coercion is when you force somebody to do something that they don't want to do. Or when you force something upon somebody that they would not otherwise accept on their own if they were left free. So coercion comes in two forms. We call it force and fraud. Violence and deception. Force. Murder. Okay? You end somebody's life. They didn't want their life to be ended. Okay? That's coercion through force. I saw it. You punched a guy in the face. He didn't want to be punched in the face. You forced something onto him that he would not have accepted or he left in a free state. Okay? Now you have kidnapping. You force somebody against their will, want a gun, go with you, go somewhere and hide them. They didn't want to go with you. They didn't want to be hidden. Okay? Coercion through force. Violence. So you have forcing somebody to do something they didn't want to do, or forcing somebody to accept something that they wouldn't accept. You know, uh, public schooling. So you want to spend your money at a private school. Well, if your local county government makes you pay $3,000 in property taxes that goes towards public school, whether that's what you would have done in a free state or not. Okay, or I wanted to spend my money at the private school. They said if you don't give us this money and send it to the public school, we're going to come get your house and kick you out of it. Okay, or. through force. Now, then there's fraud. You sold somebody a house. You said it didn't have anything wrong with it. They bought it because they didn't think anything was wrong with it. Come to find out something was wrong with it. You lied. And they wouldn't have bought your house if they knew that there was something wrong with it. They didn't want to buy a bad house. You tricked them through fraud into buying a bad house. Something they didn't want to do. So coercion is always forcing somebody to do something they don't want to do, either through violence or deception, force or fraud. Okay, so liberty versus freedom. Liberty, which is the concept that I enjoy talking about, is to be free of or put it this way liberty is the absence of coercion liberty is the absence of coercion you have people talk about liberty and talk about freedom as if they're the same thing and people take this to extremes when they don't have a good concept of liberty. They'll accuse people of, of being anarchists or not even being further than anarchists. You know, being, uh, I don't know, uh, depraved, I guess is the word for it. Saying that, you know, oh, under your system, 
uh, it would be okay to murder because you believe in everybody being able to do what they want to and they wanted to kill that person and they and you tell them they can't kill that person you don't believe in liberty okay well this is where liberty and freedom you have to understand so liberty is the absence of coercion freedom is being able to do anything you want okay now most of the time those mean very similar things because coercion is forcing people to do something they don't want to do liberty is the absence of coercion so it seems like liberty would be being able to do what you want to do but it's not quite freedom is being able to do whatever you want to do and we don't have total freedom but we do have total liberty how can that be because if you're free to murder someone you've committed coercion against them in the form of violence so if somebody limits that activity let's say shooting a person in the head let's say that activity is limited then freedom goes down but liberty goes up because this action causes coercion to be committed against another person so if you were to eliminate that action out of the realm of possibilities of what is acceptable liberty goes up and freedom which is doing whatever you want to actually goes down a bit of course it's in an extreme area but it goes down a bit so what I value is liberty and, and what people all, uh, often uh, confuse with liberty is freedom of action you do not have the freedom to commit any action that you please because what we have said in most societies and in particular in the United States is we value liberty well, lots of times that coincides with freedom but that at the extremes uh, you have to realize there's a difference so a good concept of liberty uh, a good idea of what real liberty is is needed to understand what's desirable in a society the absence of coercion is uh, absolutely 100% desirable total 100% freedom uh, may not be desirable in fact in some cases it would be very undesirable so I lay down this definition of liberty and why liberty is better than freedom in some extreme cases uh, for future reference for people to understand what I what I mean when I say liberty and to tell the truth I may use the term freedom uh, but it's always uh, talking about the freedoms that are included under liberty not the freedom to do whatever you want including activities that would reduce liberty okay so it's liberty we're, we're after and, and that's what liberty means to be free from coercion uh, and I'll add right quickly, although this is not the main point of this video, uh, liberty is not a, a, it's a negative right, I call it. Liberty is something, a negative state, or, uh, or a, uh, you know, dormant. It's being, it's doing nothing. It's being left alone. Liberty is not the right to something where you need to go out and grab them. the right you know liberty is having an education liberty is having help you no it's none of that because while those may increase quote unquote freedoms like we talked about when you take people's money and other things to obtain education and health care and what have you that you know perpetrates coercion upon those people so it may increase freedom but it reduces liberty and there's an important difference there